What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Pizza Maker Eight Thousand, and today I'm frustrated, man. I've had it, you know. I'm fed up with Toontown rewritten, and if you did not see my video talking about problems with Toontown rewritten, go ahead and click that video now. Check it out. Give it a like and let me know what you guys think about it. But before we even talk about that, I want to get it straight into this video. What I'm talking about today, man. The problems with this game and them talking about adding new content and not adding the new content, man. We have been waiting for like two years now for field offices. Something so simple as field offices, man. Not only have we been waiting to get rid of this cloud over Toontown and get something new in the game, we have been waiting for field offices. And we've been promised time after time again, people, oh, field offices coming soon, coming soon, coming soon. And that's like all I seem to hear. And what people don't understand, I know everybody's going to say, you know, they do not get paid to do this. They're doing this for free. They're doing this, this and that. You know, this and it doesn't matter, bro. Look, if you pick up a game or you pick up something, you start something, bro, you cannot half ass it. It's called fuck around itis. Like, like, uh, uh, Master Frizzy Dizenboodle said, it is called fuck around itis. You cannot pick up something and do halfway the job or start it and then just never touch it again. It's like the game has been updated in damn near three, four years now. I know they add little stupid stuff like I showed in the video previously for, you know, adding stuff, changing the skins of the gags, and changing stupid little stuff within the park, but for the most part, they do not add nothing to the game. And we've been waiting too long for field offices or something so small. The field offices, I mean, it's not even that great, if we be honest, man. Field offices is something very, very small. We've been waiting for a major update, and, you know, just to be taking this long for a small update is just kind of inexcusable, in my opinion. And people say... All I ever get in my comments are they don't get paid. You know, they're doing this for free. They're just in their spare time, bro. Plenty of people do stuff in their spare time, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? My YouTube, I was before I was getting paid, not only get paid that much now, I was still pumping, editing videos, you know, do, working on my craft because I enjoyed it. And even if not, I wouldn't have started it just to quit like they're doing. And people try to defend them for that. And then on top of that, people always seem to have this idea saying, you know, like, if you don't like it, go play a server that doesn't have, you know, go play Toontown Infinite. Go play Toontown, you know, Corporate Clash. Go play a different server if you do not like that Toontown Rent is not updating. And I think people just be talking without actually thinking because, listen, why would I go start over? You know what I'm saying? I have four or five tunes on my Toontown thing. You look, maxed out Cellbot, Cashbot, Lawbot, Level 13 Big Cheese. I mean, but that's not that's irrelevant. First off, why would I start all the way over? You know what I'm saying? Just to just to get a new gag or you know what I'm saying, whatever the case may be. And on top of that, it's like people don't realize that if you go and start these new servers, man, nobody's playing these servers. This this only has you know, two day rent only has one thousand seven hundred people online right now, which is not a lot. But compared to the other servers, this is a shit ton compared to the other servers that have, you know, a hundred people on at max. With a hundred people on between, you know, being anywhere on this map is going to be very hard to get anything done. Even a fact, even something so simple as a factory. I'm not going to solo every single factory, you know, then VP, you know, and then so on and so forth. I think people don't understand that when they just say, you know, why don't you go play Toontown Corporate Clash? You know, if you want to complain about Toontown Rewritten, it's like, bro, there's not enough people on the servers. If I were to go and store, I'm not going to be able to do anything. This game requires teamwork. It requires four or five people, you know what I'm saying? It requires more than just you. You cannot do this by yourself. You can't solo throughout the entire game when you do 55 level 4 plus buildings bro you are not going to succeed soloing and stuff like that but you know what i'm saying that and that's beside the point i think people don't realize that but basically what this video is to intend is you know what i'm saying i'm tired of waiting for them to add something you know mega snow made a video said it's 2020 and toon time written is still broken and he's right it's still broken it's still not updated they add pointless stuff like this reward you know what i'm saying Make your garden bloom faster than daisies to ramp up your garden experience. How about you add something that affects my gameplay instead of adding something so pointless as to adding something like that. That's all I have to say though, man. I know this video is going to get a lot of dislikes because anytime I talk about something controversial, a topic like this that gets people, you know, there's a lot of people that think that watch my video dislike it are people that are, you know, are diehard Toontown fans. And I'm not saying I'm not a diehard Toontown fan, but you know, there comes a time when you got to face reality. And a lot of people don't like to face reality, but you know, it is all good. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. It's your boy, Pizza Maker 8000. I'm out.